In the link above, we looked at the artwork of Victor Nunez, an artist that creates whimsical drawings out of everyday objects he finds in his home. Some of the ways he uses those materials are so creative and interesting, don't you think? He can look at a piece of popcorn and imagine it as something else. He doesn't create huge, elaborate paintings, but his drawings are fun, funny, thoughtful, and well-drawn. Today, you're going to create artwork just like Victor Nunez. I want you to look around your house for something that you have multiples of. They need to be all the same object. If you're struggling with finding something like paper clips or Q-tips, look in your pantry. A lot of times, food comes in multiples and you may be inspired by something that you see in there. You're going to use a pencil only to turn your objects into something spectacular. You may have to put your thinking cap on because we're looking to do 10 different small drawings today. If you're having trouble with your drawings, you're welcome to look around your house or on the internet for ideas. Remember though, that your ideas need to come from your head and not from something that you see online. Your brain is a muscle that needs to be stretched and worked too. And the more we use those creative parts of our brain, the more innate being creative actually is. If you're having a hard time with this project, you can set it aside and come back to it. When you draw, be sure to try out some shading with your pencil. I like to use a dull pencil so I can get soft grays as well as dark grays. Remember, shading is not coloring. Shading is adding lights and darks to your drawing to make them look more realistic or three-dimensional. Shading gives your drawings life. When you're finished with your artwork, I hope you're proud of it. This project isn't easy and I know that. All I ask is that you try your best to do something new. Please take a picture of your artwork and email it to Mrs. Davis using the email address on the PowerPoint slide or use hashtag GES virtual artist on social media. I can't wait to see what you create. Now get to work.